Hello everybody and welcome back to our New Year's Eve painting marathon. This is session number four and my husband and I want to wish everybody that is participating on this event a happy and a prosperous 2021. Somewhere in the world it is midnight right now and uh, we are just sending our love and our light and our blessings to everyone that is celebrating in this present moment as they're stepping into the new year. Hi Nan, always lovely to have you with us. We are ready to get into the next layer of our sacred symbols for 2021. So hopefully by now you've had the chance to create your words of affirmation as a way to um, break in your canvas. Hi Julie, welcome. <laughs> Please let us know where you are in the world. Right, so we are still breaking in our canvas. This is why this is a painting marathon. Otherwise, this would be over in five minutes, wouldn't it? <laughs> so what we're going to do now is um, what we as creatively fit coaches like to call to paint freedom. So whatever freedom means to you to paint freely and just to express yourself and to play at the canvas. Introduce all the colors that you would love to see on your canvas, your favorite colors. You can draw symbols, you can just paint in sections of color. Again, there's no right or wrong. The idea now is really just to maybe begin to fill in some of these negative spaces that you have around your words and maybe create some interesting patterns with it that could add some texture and beauty um, and some rhythm and some pattern to your painting. Hi Angela, <laughs> please let us know where you are from. It is so great to have you with us. And guys, please take photographs of your work. It doesn't matter what stage you are in and share it with us on our group. Right, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. And I started there with a very nice and interesting pattern. It's very intuitive. Like I said, there's no right or wrong. If there's any particular patterns um, or shapes or even other symbols that you like, maybe an ohm, if an ohm is auspicious to you, uh, maybe a nice big heart because a heart always represents love and unity um, that's quite universal but I think the most important thing that I want to stress again during this entire beautiful sacred painting process is whatever you add to this canvas must be meaningful to you it is not got anything to do with your husband or your child or your friend or anyone else for that matter this is your sacred work. So whatever you add to your canvas must be meaningful for you. That is the only rule that I want to bring into this sacred painting practice where we are being creative together. Just add your own meaning because if it's meaningful to you, then it will be beautiful to you and it will serve its purpose uh, of why we are creating our sacred symbols for 2021 so I'm very eager to hear if you guys all have your sacred symbols for 2021 symbol or symbols it can be more than one it doesn't just have to be one but remember we are unlimited so um, I just think it's easier if it's one or two symbols that you can incorporate on one canvas but again Unlimited means you can have five canvases and each have their own symbol on it. There's no right or wrong. Please share with us in a comment if you know what your sacred symbol or totem animal, or whatever you want to call it for 21, um, 2021 will be. 
uh, share it with us in the comment we are eager to to get some feedback from you guys and if you still um, don't know if you are still looking for your symbol for 2021 then you are more than welcome to drop a comment on this video uh, just give me your birth date and month and choose between orange or blue excuse me and I will be more than happy to help you find your power symbol for 2021 by using the Habuk Ku book of symbols so if you don't have your symbol yet please share and I'm more than happy to help you find a symbol so that you also can begin to participate and enjoy this painting marathon along with us turquoise is definitely one of my favorite colors and uh, it's quite a healing color it's quite an empowering color so therefore I definitely want to incorporate it into my painting so I'm quite excited about 2021 uh, I think it is a uh, a milestone year for me personally in a lot of aspects um, I will be offering uh, a lot of these workshops and uh, online sessions for you guys not only in our group but also uh, if you feel that you would benefit from creative coaching in a one-on-one -on -one kind of setup like I said you know the internet and all the tools that we have to our disposal uh, really is so empowering we don't even need to be in the same room anymore because technology has made it possible for us even if you are worlds away um, that I can be of service to you and empower you on your journey I'm a certified life coach creatively fit coach counselor mindfulness practitioner and uh, even if you just want a private art lesson it doesn't have to be as serious as coaching so if any of this resonates with you or if any of the programs that I'm going to begin to share on our beautiful, um, you know, creative heart group resonates with you, let me know. You can private message me and I'm more than happy to be of service to you. And while we're talking about that, why don't you invite your friends to our group to join us in this beautiful process, not only today, but also in um, what I will be sharing in the future uh, on our Creative Heart group. So I'm looking forward to sharing more with you guys there. So if there's any questions that you have about this process or if there's anything that I can clarify for you, please don't be shy to ask. I'm very happy to answer your questions for you and to see to it that you are empowered. I like to finish playing with one color before I switch to another that way it also adds a very interesting texture to the canvas and uh, mark making like this really is part of one of the design principles it's called repetition rhythm
whatever comes to you intuitively that you find joyful to draw do that I'm gonna do a video on mark making in the new year particularly exploring the power of basic symbols like um, a, a cross a circle a triangle a square a wiggly line all of these things have meaning so it's quite interesting if you like to doodle for example to see what basic shape you like to begin your doodle with is it a triangle is it a cross is it a square is it a heart um, and how you evolve your doodle from there um, it's very interesting to note that go-to symbol maybe a spiral um, all of that has meaning and uh, I'm very excited to share that information with you and you might be surprised to learn something about yourself in this very intuitive um, beginning mark making what it is that lies behind it so look out for that uh, something that will come up in the new year right i've run out of color you get the gist of what it is that we are busy doing we are really just still breaking in the canvas i still have a lot of white of the canvas showing so i'm going to be picking another color and i'm going to continue to fill in some of these spaces and create some texture and remember the intention now is to paint freedom whatever that represents for you however that looks there is no right or wrong maybe think about what freedom means to you and try to express that in a creative way on the canvas again there's no right or wrong there's no technique required um, it really is just a self-expression it is an exercise in self-love it is an exercise in acceptance what you create is beautiful so I'm so looking forward to seeing step by step what you are creating at the canvas so please do take photographs and share it with us we are here to support and love you every step of the way Julie it is an absolute joy to be an inspiration for you thank you for watching along with us so I'm going to continue with this layer it is now quarter to four so I think what we'll do is I'm going to finish my layer uh, that I'm busy with now and then we will basically do that up until after supper in our time. Um, when, once we've concluded our supper, it will be around 7 o'clock Central African time um, when I will go live again next and then we will introduce our symbol to the canvas and I will show you how that is done and I will lead you into the up following steps to create your powerful symbol for 2021 so just set your calendars in, in your time frame and just check out what time in your time zone 7 o'clock Central African time will be and join me then on our group for my next live as I show you how to really outline your power symbol on your canvas so that gives you a bit of time if you've just joined us or you need to catch up just check out the previous lives that I did uh, I did number them so that it makes sense and then just catch up with us and uh, again I will switch over now to our um, group room which you will find at the top of our page our, our, our group sorry <laughs> page. Um, you are welcome to join us there it really is just a live cam that is running and you can watch me and my husband paint and uh, the more of you join us it is completely free 
and uh, it, it's just so much more fun if there's a little bit of energy going there as well so I will see you guys in our painting room our event room right now as I continue to finish this part of my painting thank you for spending time with us I'll see you at seven o'clock Central African time for our next live. <laughs> that's my doggy saying yes <laughs> bye bye